right, so this time we are solving um, for x, but we have fractions. So before we can even get to these x's, we need to combine it to make one fraction. So we need to find a common denominator. So we have a 6 here and we have a 2. So for me to find a common denominator, we need to think of what number goes into 6 and what number does 2 go into also. So my common denominator is going to be 6. So in this first fraction here, it already had the 6. So I don't need to do anything to the top. So it's still x plus 7. This one had a 2. So 2 times 3 gave me 6. So I need to multiply this top by 3. So I need to distribute everything. 3 times 2x, I get 6x. 3 times negative 8 is a negative 24. Okay. So now that I have a common denominator, I can make one fraction. 6 goes on the bottom. I can just write it on the top. x plus 7 plus 6x minus 24. And then I still have equals negative 4. Now I can combine my like terms on the top. A positive x and a 6x gives me 7x. A negative 24 and a positive 7 gives me a negative 17. I still have over 6 equals negative 4. All right, so now that I combined it to make one fraction, I need to get to this x. So for me to get to that x, I need to get rid of this 6. So right now it's divided by 6, so we always do the opposite. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 6. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. So this side is gone. I'm left with 7x minus 17 equals a negative 4 times a 6 is a negative 24. Okay. Now I still need to get this x by itself, so I need to move this 17. It's a negative 17, so for me to move it, I'm going to add 17 to both sides. Therefore, this side is gone. I'm left with 7x equals a negative 24, a positive 17 gives me a negative 7. And lastly, I need to get rid of this 7. It's 7 times x, so the opposite of multiplying is dividing. So I'm going to divide both sides by 7. Therefore, x, a negative 7 divided by a positive 7 is a negative 1. 